In this video, we're going to take a look at the workflow for importing FBX files, texture maps, and normal maps, which have been created in a 3D application, and in this case, Maya, into Render Digimania. The first thing that we need to do is to open the project library. And with that loaded, inside the project library window, we can see in the left hand pane that there is a path which shows where the project directory is set to currently. So we need to update this to point to the folder called projects. And the easiest way to do that is to right click on the path and select project directory from the menu. This opens a choose folder window. And here we can navigate to the projects folder, select it and then hit select folder. And with our project path now correct, we can right click on the left hand pane and choose new package. And let's go ahead and name the package and I'm going to call it Dino. So with the package selected, let's right click it and choose import. And here we'll be given two options. We can import textures and we can import FBX files. Let's select Import FBX and this will open the Import Browsing window. And you'll see we are taken to the FBX folder so we can easily pick the Dino FBX file. At this point, if we were working with multiple FBX files, we could select them all and then import them all at once. So with that selected, hit Open. In the Import FBX dialog box, enable Import Textures. We can leave if exists set to use existing textures selected. Enable create materials and for the base material, I'm going to choose a fong and then I'm going to hit OK. This will now import the FBX and the associated texture files. When you're working on your own projects, you may find that when you import your FBX files, Render Digimania may not locate the associated texture maps by default and this is most likely due to the paths that you have set or how you exported your FBX file. But you can still import the texture files manually if you need to. The amount of time it takes to import depends on the file sizes. But if everything worked correctly for you, then you will find that your FBX file is loaded here with the texture maps applied to the materials. The only thing that's remaining now is for us to bring in the normal maps. So to do this, let's right click and choose import and then import texture. Now let's browse into the Dino folder and then into the FBX folder. And we're just going to shift select all five normal maps and then we're going to hit import. In the import textures dialog window, let's choose normal map and hit OK. This will now bring the normal maps into the project library and we'll just take a few moments. And we now have all of our assets that we're going to use in the project library. To load the FBX file into the 3D viewer, we'll just right click and choose Create Mesh. We now have loaded the Dino asset into the 3D viewer with the associated shaders applied. The normal maps have not been applied, but this can be done via the shaders in their normal map rollouts. Watch the Applying Texture Maps and Normal Maps to Materials video tutorial, which is available on the Render Digimania website and YouTube channel for how to apply the normal maps to the mesh.